This child care provider wants her money, but just how much care did she provide? Judge Maria Lopez presides in the case of The Babysitter Baked My Baby. I understand you are suing the Lewises for three weeks of child care services that you provided for their infant. Is that right? Yes, right. And you are saying that you don't owe Miss Beckham any money because she provided inadequate services. Is that right? That is correct. Okay, tell me how they came to bring uh, their child to your... Uh, okay, it was back in November the 28th about when I five. first started watching his, his infant. Is that right? Yes. So they start leaving Raven with you and everything's going fine, right? Everything is going fine okay, until then. I had a small problem with my air conditioning unit. No, that's not correct. That's the main issue is the AC unit, but we had some other issues. What other issues did you have? Uh, starting around, around January, we would pick the baby up and uh, it, we would have like missing bottles or the wrong bottle. The wrong bottles? The you were sending bottle. your baby home with a different bottle? Yes, yes. ma'am. Not her bottle. And yes, we don't know if she was giving our baby the correct milk because sure. we were getting other bottles that sure. didn't belong to us. Yeah. And Did, she would tell me, I want that bottle back. I don't know your other parents. Oh, yeah, and you don't want your baby with somebody else's bottle. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, germs galore. I right. mean, what, what is this about? Your Honor, that's, not, that's a lie. Majority of the people that I work with that had infant baby had their names on their bottles. That well, is not that's true. how they knew and they had the wrong bottle. No, they didn't, they didn't, no, that's not true because when I give them their, their bottle, I would, I would know what bottle to give them because the name would be on the bottle belong to the other kid. Okay, she might not got her right bottle. She okay. might not got the bottle she's supposed to have you on. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. That's what I'm wait, saying. Are you she trying, didn't you get want, the wrong You bottle. want them and me to believe that even though you sent the baby home with the wrong bottle, no, you every time you fed the baby, she got her bottle. Mm -hmm. you, just, you, you want me to believe that? I want you to believe yeah. this, you Well, you know what? I believe them that their baby was coming home with the wrong bottle. I don't think someone would make that up. I would get home some days and somebody else's pamper would be on the baby. Plus, um, there were days when I would pick up the baby. She would wait until I got there to pick up the baby to say, oh, let me check her, let me change her. Did you not change her during the day? So you were concerned about the kind of care Raven was getting. Well, the air was the final straw. How long did it take for you to get this uh, air, air conditioning fixed? You and I had an air conditioning unit in my window. A window. I had ceiling fans in my home. Yeah. I had a standing fans in my home. These people, I mean, these people are saying basically they weren't happy since January about the bottles, about the They lying, diapers. Your Honor. That's what they're doing. They lying. Well, you know what? Don't say who's lying because I'm going to okay. decide who's lying. Here, okay. okay? They are, you know, Your Honor. And the decision was what? To remove the baby from the, uh, the, the daycare. daycare services? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can I see, hear, hear about that? They didn't give me a two weeks notice. Did you tell her at any point that you weren't going to bring Raven back? No, we did not, Judge. The decision to remove your baby from the daycare, tell me how you uh, came to that. Okay, one day, the last, th this particular day, I went to pick up the baby, and it was so hot in there. I walked out in tears. I got in my truck and I just cried because I felt like if I can sit in the AC all day. And you felt guilty, right? And I feel like. I should have taken my child back to her with no air and continue to pay her for the next two weeks. I want to go back to the money you claim they owe you. You're supposed to give me a two weeks notice before you remove the child. Also, the child is, you didn't give me a notice you was moving the child, Your Honor. You owe me for that week if she's still on the enrollment. Now, you mean to tell me that a parent has to keep their child in your facility for two weeks if they're unhappy with you? No, you know, I'm not That's saying that. That's what this that. says. This okay, says, what it before says. Before withdraw, no, listen to me. Do not I'm speak reading over your okay, I'm contract, okay? You're telling me if a parent is unhappy with the care you provide for their child, they gotta keep their child in there for two weeks? What reason? I don't think so. I wouldn't enforce this even if they didn't have a reason to remove their child. But you know what? They had plenty of reason to remove their child. And in fact, let me just tell you something. When you started having problems in January, when things didn't seem right, you should have removed her then. You really don't leave a baby that old, okay? A newborn baby in conditions that you are not 100% comfortable with, okay? But you know what? You paid for that last week that she was there? No, he did. Yes, yes we, we did. did. You know what? Yes. I believe them. Your case, dismissed.